Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to start off this particular session. Oh, we're going to clean the Bethesda ESMs. Okay, and we're going to, probably going to spend the entirety of this episode working on this particular item because it's it's kind of complex. Okay, I'm going to go into Mod Organizer. Let me start this off by showing you guys what we're going to do here. And you guys don't have to follow this. If you're following along, don't bother to do this part. I'm just going to show you what we're doing. I'm going to pull up um, TES5 Edit, and we're going to run that. And this is all fine, so we'll just hit OK. What I'm going to do is right-click on any one of these, it doesn't really matter what, and I'm just going to say Apply Filter, and I'm going to leave everything pretty much the way it is. Um, make sure this says Conflict Status Inherited by Parent. Um, this should all be checked, so that's all good. Just go ahead and filter that. OK, guys. So what we've got here is the Skyrim ESM, then Skyrim EXE, and then the update, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. You notice the texture packs are not here because we're not loading the ESMs um, per, uh, you know, this thing. We took these all out, okay? There's nothing, there are no, there are no records in here. This is, is basically what the deal is. Um, these are just texture packs. So let's take a quick look, just as a for instance. Let's pull up Hearthfire. You see there's a bunch of colors here. Let's look for something that's red, like world space. That's a good one. Take a look at one of these blocks. Just we'll dig down until we find out what's causing the, the conflict here. Okay. So you can see this particular record. Um, this is a world space record, um, a certain block. Um, we've got this red conflict here. So in the original Skyrim, there's nothing here. Um, and that's true of Update and Dawn Guard. Everything's fine up until we get to Hearthfire, um, which adds a, rec or adds a uh, location to this, Windhelm location. But then in Dragonborn, they took it out. Um, now remember, Dragonborn is loaded last after Hearthfire, right? So this is the order that they're loaded in. So you can see there's a conflict here. They put something in and then it got taken back out again. And this is a pretty good example of the sort of thing that we want to fix. Now, coming into here, we could like take grab this and pull it over to here. And I'm going to say no. And and that would resolve the conflict, right? Because you would have moved this into Dragonborn. Um, and then since Dragonborn is the last mod loaded, there's no conflict anymore. Now, there's, there's a reason we don't want to do that. First of all, that would be modifying the Dragonborn ESM, and we don't want to do that. We want to, if we're going to modify anything, we're going to modify it into a custom, what's called a patch mod. But secondly, you really don't want to come into TS5 Edit and start moving records around like that. We're going to have to do that, but it really should be a last resort. Um, we want to try to fix as much of this as we can. Um, kind of automatically because if you start moving stuff around in here, it's really easy to to break your game. Okay, this stuff isn't really well described. Like for example, what the hell's a XLCN location? I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, maybe somebody knows, but I don't know. And is it safe for me to take this this record and drag it into here? Well, yeah, probably it's safe. I mean, there's nothing here. I'm not overwriting anything. But on the other hand, you know, you might make a change like that and think it's perfectly innocent and end up crashing your game. So really, we don't want to be messing around in here as much as we can possibly help it. OK, here's another body part problem somewhere in here. Uh, oh, yeah. So an update in Dawn Guard, this got updated. Looks like they all came to the same numbers, but then it got chicken out in Dragonborn. So as much as possible, we want to try to fix this without having to to mess around in here, okay? So that's what I'm trying to get out. And that's what we're gonna be doing by cleaning the, the Bethesda ESMs. So we've set up the profile. We're gonna use TES5 Edit to clean the ITMs and UDRs. So ITMs are identical to masters, and the UDRs, which are um, un, what's it, it's undeleted and uh, disabled references, okay? Or undelete and disable reference, something like that. And what that's going to do for us is automatically clean up a lot of that red that was in in all those files. Now, these are the Bethesda ESMs, and you would think they would be pretty clean, but in fact, they're not. 
I mean, I've already showed you a couple of instances where um, the file was changed and then it was changed back. And, you know, it, that kind of thing could cause uh, crashes. So, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and follow these directions. Let's start up mod organizer. Well, we've got mod organizer started. So we're going to select TS5 from the drop down menu and run it. So let's do that. We've got TS5 edit selected. And go ahead and run. So we'll run, load this back up again. Let's see what's my instructions now. Okay. Right click and select none. Check the box adjacent to update ESM and click OK. Wait for the message background loader to finish to appear in the right plane. So let's see. I wonder if I can. All right, so select none, and then update ESM, and hit OK. So we'll let update. We're going to do these one at a time. Let me see if I can reduce this so I can see the instructions at the same time. OK. Right-click the update ESM and select apply filter for cleaning. So right-click update ESM, apply filter for cleaning. OK. Um, let's see, put this somewhere. So right click update ESM and select remove identical to master records. Um, there it is. Yes, I am sure. So it's done. Uh, it removed 96 records. So very good. Um, right click update to inselect undelete and disable references. So same thing, uh, undelete and disable references. So we did, we undeleted three records. Okay. So this has now been cleaned, meaning that any improperly removed records and edited records were identical to the base Skyrim have been fixed. Repeat the process above for all DLC ESMs in order selecting only one at a time. Do not attempt to clean Skyrim ESM itself. Dawnguard ESM must also be cleaned twice to remove all duplicate records. Okay, so in order to do that, close this out. Oh yeah, we were supposed to do that. Click on the X button to verify the box adjacent the update is checked. And also the backup plugins should also be checked and just hit okay. And I'll save it. Okay, so now we gotta run it again. So we'll do the same process for Dawn Guard. Okay, there you go. Then we'll go, we'll right click on that. Oh, sorry, it's not done yet. There we go. Now we'll right click on it. Apply filter for cleaning. Okay. So we gotta do Dongard twice. Alright, so right click on it. On delete and disable references. Yes, I'm sure. And remove identical to master records. I think I did that backwards, but it shouldn't make any difference. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close that and say OK. Run it again. I'm going to pull up the Dawn Guard again. Remember, we got to do Dongard twice. Let it build its reference info. Then we'll right click and apply filter. Whoops, not, we don't want to apply filter. Sorry, apply filter for cleaning. Let it do that. Oh, it's still working on it. There we go. Okay. Uh, remove identical to master records. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, we've got six more records taken out. And then um, delete and disable. Okay. 
And there you go. Okay. Okay, guys. We're going to do hearth fire now. Same process, supply filter for cleaning. Hearth fire is coming up green. It doesn't seem to have any problems, but let's do the, the cleaning thing. It's removed 184 records. And let's do the this one. And there you go. 11 records were undeleted. Now five plugin contains five deleted nav meshes, which cannot be undeleted. Of course, it doesn't have the data for that, right? So that's good. Close that. Set that to OK. And we're out. All right. One more time. This time we're going to do Dragonborn. And right click on, yep, still building reference info. There we go, that's done. Apply filter for cleaning. Okay, there you go, you got a conflict with update somewhere. So I'm going to undelete and disable. Whoops, no. Let's do it in the right order. Remove identical to master records, 68 records. And then undelete and disable references. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have now cleaned the um, update, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. Now, normally that's all we need to do, right? However, what we've just done is we've gone into these four uh, ESMs and changed them. Now, one of the goals here is to keep kind of a uh, like a partition between the the vanilla version of Skyrim, which is that one, and our modified version. Um, now, right now, the vanilla version, this one right here, has these changed DSMs in it, and we don't want that. So, in order to to get vanilla actually back to vanilla, we need to jump through a couple of hoops here. So let's pop back into our page. So uh, this is what it's talking about here. Um, normally when a file is going through TSEdit, it automatically moves back to its original mod folder and any generated files are moved to mod organizer path overwrite. In the case of the best ESMs, there's no source mod, and the, so the post-cleaning ESMs are left in the Skyrim data folder while the backups are moved to the overwrite folder. The clean file should be moved to their own mod folder to preserve a clean Skyrim data folder and backups restored from the TS to overwrite. So we're going to close mod organizer. Just follow his directions. Navigate to Skyrim data. So let me pull this over here. We're going to go to the Skyrim data folder. So that's under our uh, Steam library. Steam apps, common Skyrim data folder. These ESMs have all been changed. Okay. All through here, except for Skyrim. This one hasn't. So let's see what he wants us to do here. Navigate to the data folder and move the newly cleaned Bethesda ESM files to mod organizer path, mods, clean vanilla ESMs. Okay, so let's go to mod organizer, uh, mods. So here we're going to right click and I'm going to create a new, new folder. And we're going to call this cleaned vanilla ESMs. Okay. Um, I'm going to move the ESM files. So I'm going to grab you, throw you in here. I'm going to grab you, throw you in here. Oh, skip that. Dragonborn. Oh, it looks like I'd already pulled them all in there. Okay. I don't want the Skyrim ESM in there. It's copied them. That's what it's done. So we got the Dongard, Dragonborn, Hearthfire, and Update ESMs. Okay, those are the ones that we changed. Okay. So we got that. Navigate to Mod Organizer Path Overwrite. So Overwrite. 
DES5 edit backups. And move all the backup files to the Skyrim data folder. So let's grab all these. And move it to the Skyrim data folder. Which is on the E drive. Gotta navigate back over to our Steam library again. There's the data folder. So I'm gonna take all you guys and drag you over to data. Uh, now we gotta delete these. Remove the TES backup folder from the model organized by the way. So we're gonna take this folder out. Okay, we're gonna go back over to our Skyrim folder here, and there's your backups. All right, now because he wants us to move them and we copied instead, um, and that's just because I was going across drives uh, from E to F drive. So I'm gonna take the ESMs, these three, delete them, and update ESM, delete that. Then I'm going to rename this. Yes, please. Uh, we got two done guards. Let me deal with that last. Let's take out the word backup. Yes, please. And Dragonborn. Okay. Now we got two done guards because we did this one twice. Let's take the most recent one. Uh, these have the wrong dates. It's very annoying. 742, that seems to be the right one. So I'm going to delete this one out. And we'll rename this one. Yes, please. Like such. Okay, so those are the original ESMs. Okay. The the uncleaned versions. Um, the clean versions are here. These are the brand new ones. Okay. So I think we're good. I think we've done everything he's asked. Okay, this process has restored the original game files to allow the game to run in vanilla state via Steam. When mod are going to start again, a new mod will be added to left plane called vanilla. Must be activated for mod organizers to use them. Okay, so let's do that. Let's pop open Mod Organizer again. There you go, clean vanilla ESMs, and we're supposed to verify Skyrim Revisited as the currently selected profile, drag the newly created mod between. Okay. First of all, let's make sure we're in Skyrim Revisited. Drag the newly created mod clean vanilla between Texture Hires Pack 3 and Skyrim Secret Center and activate it. There you go, and activate it. So there you go, guys. So again, there's your vanilla. There's your Skyrim Revisited. Okay, guys, um, let's just real quick run the SKSE just to make sure everything's working okay. Okay, and everything looks, so far anyway, we don't have any crashes. And there you go, everything looks fine. So since the game lets me out here, there we go. I'll just go ahead and quit to the desktop. Looks good. So, okay guys, um, 
there you go. We have uh, cleaned ESMs for the, the updates and uh, the official download packs, which should increase the stability of our game, hopefully. So uh, we'll leave this off here. Um, in the next episode, we're going to start working on optimizing the Bethesda textures, which is um, a fairly complicated process, but we're going to do the... Uh, we're going to install the, the ready-made packages um, rather than try to go through the process manually. This manual process is pretty complicated and we will have to do it um, for some of our mods. For the official packages, I think we're going to just do the, the ready-made, so it won't be that complicated. So yeah, uh, we'll get to that in the next video. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.